The city of Salvador, located in the state of Bahia, on the northeastern coast of Brazil, is the cradle of Afro-Brazilian culture. The homeland of Candomblé and Capoeira, Salvador is considered a vibrant center of racial consciousness and political activism. But, despite their unique cultural productions and Afro-referenced identities, the relative strength of Afro-civil society and an active black political intelligentsia, blacks in Salvador have made only modest political gains, and the majority live in deep, grinding poverty. Afro-Politics and Civil Society in Salvador de Bahia, a new book by Dr. Kwame Dixon, examines the struggle for racial justice. The book examines different forms of black consciousness, assesses the impact of political action and social mobilization, analyzes current debates on social inequality, and contributes to Latin American critical racial theory. The representation of Afro-Brazilians in political structures is extremely low. To date, Salvador has not elected a black mayor nor a black governor. The fact that blacks in a majority black city and black state have to date been unable to gain a modicum of political power confounds many observers. In an effort to understand these issues, Dr. Dixon has analyzed the social construction of political power. He has concluded that in order to address these imbalances, Afro-civil society must engage in several important political projects simultaneously. One, challenge hierarchies of political exclusion. Two, construct new forms of citizenship by claiming new rights. Three, test recently enacted anti-discrimination and affirmative action measures. Four, reclaim land rights, both rural and urban. And five, increase political participation. However, the future is uncertain and the impact of these measures may cause unintended consequences. As blacks become more entrenched, it will be important to pay close attention to how the new black political elite negotiates power away from the old white ruling hierarchy, the impact of new affirmative action laws, access to higher education, how the new black political elite addresses the harsh administration of justice, as well as the sharp racial inequality in housing, health, education, employment, and the media, and what kind of new economic opportunities and structures will be available, if any. This important new book provides a fresh needed look at black politics in Salvador and Brazil. To learn more, visit www.upf.com.